All right, here we go. This is a custom 2v2 on wrath between the Carbon Team in the upper left, Happy Death in the Classic Helix, and Lethal Poison in the Shark Helix, and their opponents, the Carb or the I just said Carbon, the Green Team on the bottom right, ULA in the Black Ops Striker, and Blastabits in the Envision Osprey. So a uh, nice little mech variation here, but we do have a double Helix team. So I guess uh, it's not really the exact same thing, but an Osprey and a Striker on the other team, which is not a necessarily an uncommon combination either, but uh, we do have Blast of It's overhealing those money makers. It is a very productive thing to do, especially if the uh, opponent comes to harass uh, with certain units uh, like, uh, I don't know, Boomers or something like that. Oh, Blast of It's almost going down, but it does look like the green team is going straight for their neutral close first. Uh, ULA dropping a couple of Mortys there to harass, and uh, weirdly enough, I think he was killing off a couple of the units that were dropped by the Carbon team at their close. But Yule able to finish off one Moneymaker. Blastabit still working on this bottom close. Has one more Brute left to go, and he will be able to take it by the... But in the meantime, the Carbon team has been able to pretty much get this island surrounded. I um, mean, you know, only one side is surrounded, but it's completely neutral. Or the Brutes have been knocked down, so they will be able to take that out close under the control pretty soon. Uh, when does this box spawn nowadays? I have no idea. It does look like Happy Death is flying back and forth. So uh, maybe a little, maybe expecting it or something like that. But the ULA have doing a little bit of harass at this island with some Mortys. Will not be able to neutralize or really kill anything, to be honest. Uh, oh, what was this? Oh, that was one of the neutral. Um, I think that was the hat that was there. But the Carbon team will be able to sock it right away. Uh, or a should suck it right away, I guess is what you can say. Uh, Happy Death, however, taking the box. Oh, I think the box does spawn at about a minute. A little over a minute. That's what it was last time I tested it. But uh, it, I think it changed since then. But Blast of It will, oh, not be able to finish off that artillery. Lethal Poison does save it. Oh, but he drops it again, and Blast of It finishes it off. That was super strange. But we now do have, oh, Creeps going up to this top because this isn't Thar, this is Wrath. Man, the pathing on the Wrath is so strange. It's really, really weird. Um... And now uh, Happy Death going finally for their neutral close. He will be able to get that as the green team hasn't really started to contest that at all. Um, oh, those! Oh, I haven't seen those drop yet. So they just drop. They don't just drop like next to you. They just whoosh wherever they want to go. Okay, that's a little funny to see. Uh, but the Carbon team will be able to take this close. Now they do get it easily. And uh, they are definitely ahead at this point. The, the uh, green team has not really been able to make that much progress for talk taking this top corner. Uh, Lethal Poison and Happy Death are now harassing them, and they uh, they will be able to clear it for the most part now. Um, ULA going to be supporting with Gemini. Okay, now Lethal Poison and Happy Death. Oh, man, have lots of tanks. They are just going to do a mass push. ULA scouting. Wow, great sense there due to a scout. And Lethal Poison will be able to neutralize this. No uh, mass turtle or anything like that by the Carbon team. Okay, now Le Le ULA does come. And Blastabyss does say he sent from bot. Oh, man, thank goodness he told me. I would have noticed that. And he sent all these, and I'm assuming those... Well, they could be either on capture or on attack at this point. Now ULA has a couple of sentry... Or sentry stasis mines uh, to prevent any... Oh, these incoming tanks are going to be uh, affected by those sentry... Or those sen Why do I keep saying that? But those stasis mines. Uh, there's only five Gemini here, though. And it's Gemini versus... Uh, let's see, what are these? They are mostly... There are a couple Gemini. Oh, man, the waypoints... Oh, the waypoint. So these are all going for this because I guess these are going for the top. Um, so it is a mix of Gemini and Longhorn. But this is w once again completely undetected. I say it once again because the uh, this happened to a, uh, in an all anchor game as well where they didn't really detect that. And now Lethal Poison does see a tank, but he's not going for it. So the C Carbon team has been able to kill everything over here and uh, take this outpost under the control. However, the, these two green tank lines are crazy going everywhere. And they will be able to take both of, or at least, at least neutralize Carbon's, both of Carbon's uh, close outposts. And, uh, oh man, this large tank, oh, the, the rest of that tank push that initially went here, were able to do the job. But now look at this very, very interesting map split. Uh, not quite taken yet. This has been taken by the Carbon team. The green team will be able to take both this and this, I would assume, because, yeah, these are these Flamers are not going to be able to actually take this outpost. Okay, this might be able to do it with the Mortys. And, yes, they are going to be able to take it back under the control, but will they be able to secure it? The green team taking this close, so that is under their control. But the Carbon team way ahead, having both corners, and now do have their close and have one of green team close as well. Uh, but the Carbon, or the green team has the tank advantage here. Oh, no, the Carbon team is able to drop enough tanks to actually... Um, to actually even out the numbers over there. Last of it's now definitely trying to neutralize this with Lethal Poison's infantry in there and two infantry up for carbon or for the blue tier. God, why are my colors all messed up? For the green team and now Happy Death with Flamers of his own will be able to take this outpost back. I'm pretty sure Luke ULA is not going to be, oh, he's going for this. This is probably not a good decision because this is so heavily, uh, you know, it's so heavily defended and now is being reacted to by Happy Death. Uh, getting, ch oh, chasing down and killing ULA there. 
Uh, Blast of it's doing a quick scout. He might be. Oh, he didn't set that on D, so it's not prioritizing this. Oh, but he will be able to kill that Longhorn and uh, and neutralize that outpost eventually, if not responded to by the Carbon team. Uh, this is still really, really heavily defended by the Carbon team. This is not defended at all. A couple of random uh, hold position t tanks there. Uh, the green team has lost this close, but they will be able to neutralize this forward. Blast of it's is doing the job. Those Gemini will be able to get it, and Happy Death not able to come in time to you know to to drop any more. Uh, in, uh, defensive units and uh, now he, the green team is starting their assault on this close once again and now Leo LA uh, okay I thought he was gonna go for an attack over here but this is almost neutralized if they can cut the carbon team up oh happy that moving out here gonna go on attack uh, does, gar does green team okay the green team does have a pretty good defense not a great defense but this bottleneck of this bridge right here does a pretty good job of handling any incoming tank lines and now blast a bit uh, still trying to work on neutralizing that corner but not going to be able to do Yule still also trying to, to support Last Miss there. But, oh, hanging around a little bit too long, getting finished off on the way back by Lethal Poison in the air. And the green team's closes, other close is actually completely undefended as well. But this tank line is probably going to go down. I mean, Happy Death probably should have set these on hold position. But in the meantime, using that as a distraction, have been able to, I mean, take this completely undefended close. And uh, lots of infantry, pretty much nothing but infantry there. And now the green team doing a massive counter push. Pretty much expected to, to happen as the normal sequence of high tier air mech games, um, you know, sequence of events. And now the Carbon team is going to lose this close, but they have lo they have been able to take the other close. So it's a little bit of a, an outpost trade here. Oh, these are set on attack. And Lethal Poison does, oh, the Happy Death does see it. Oh, this box is spawned, but who really cares? Right now they real. oh, Happy Death does a mass hold position. Oh, what a great move. And now they will, oh, and blocking with the neutral lockbox. That's such an awesome move. They really need to move that lockbox. Okay, Blastmits does pick it up and uh, does put it here. That doesn't really do too much but block the uh, the carbon tanks. And did ULA grab that box? Yes, he did, but will he be able to get all the way back to the green? Yes, he is going to be able to, to claim it. And now the green tank line is the one that won. Holy crap. And now it is l reaching that carbon fort, but the carbon team definitely has enough upkeep, um, or at least available upkeep to uh, to mount the defense so they are not uh, you know they are not power blocked unlike the green team which is massively power blocked and a mass switch to T so they will be able to take this and this wow uh, they will be able to uh, do that because they're, they're completely undefended oh no happy death and blast to bits or happy death and lethal poison now defending these two longhorn not gonna be able to do the job against oh the one le heavy mine though does go off kills one of the um the, the Gemini incoming, but now this incoming Gemini line has been able to hit this close. Will ULA be able to actually take this blast of bits at his cl at, his, at the uh, oh he will go for this one now, and this will be neutralized as well. Oh my God! And now the green team has been able to neutralize and get a pretty good surround on this outpost here. Uh, you know the carbon team didn't react pretty much immediately because it is right next to the fort. What uh, lethal poison will be able to dump out a bunch of tanks and happy death now going to start to work on this close. I cannot believe how the green team has been able to to move out from the rest of this uh the, the map they, they pretty much had no map control but uh, you know every tank at their fort was sent out and that was pretty much able to do the job that that passing the mid and switching them to t split up those units and will and now ula having this top outpost under the control the green team will be able to clear and take this close outpost if not responded to uh, immediately by the green or by the carbon team and now the Carbon team just desperately trying to struggle to take back their close outpost. I guess there was a, I don't know what, the, what that damage sound was. Oh, that was here. Oh, there's a large tank cluster. Oh my god, there's so much movement on this map. But uh, this, you know, this will easily be defended by Blast of Bits here and all these uh, these tanks here. And he will probably push them out eventually. And ULA with this very, very hard defense here at this close outpost, at the Carbon close. Uh, but the Carbon team now with uh, you know, another large T-Send. Uh, nothing but tanks and infantry this entire game. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, a little bit one un Unvaried in terms of the unit composition last bits getting finished off in that chase But uh, damn there's so much movement and now you know as I said those tanks were moved out So where are they gonna go? I mean they are set on ca on, on attack and I guess they could probably get switched again to go to this outpost. Uh, but however, the fort is uh, it's defended enough such that, that that tank push is not really that threatening. And Happy Death trying to finish off whatever he can does snipe one Gemini. But ULA is here to respond very, very quickly. The green team has been able to take back this outpost. Uh, to be honest, there's so much... You know, there's so much outpost switching on this uh, in this game right now on this map that uh, I can't really keep track of who had what at what time. And ULA dropping a tank way behind here without any uh, defensive tanks in position. And two Gemini get dropped. Maybe a little bit of an overcommitment then to blast a bit. Oh, ULA actually coming here to uh, reposition these uh, these Gemini. Getting a little bit more free damage here, and a couple of these. Okay, I guess these were switched to T, so they will be able to. Go, oh, that heavy mine will go off, and boom, killing one of the one of the Gemini. But now more of you know infantry drop 
left and right. ULA getting chased down. Oh, not getting finished off by Happy Death there. That Helix not able to finish off that chase. And Happy Death actually running out of energy. Oh, man, he's actually a little bit in danger. And Yolith will try to do a little bit of extra damage. Not going to be able to finish him off, though. Oh, using those missiles. Oh, my God. ULA finishing off Happy Death there. And uh, in the meantime, Last Abyss has gotten a great surround on this outpost here. And uh, at this point, Lethal Poison and Happy Death are, are, are the team on the ropes. They are almost outnumbered, hilariously enough, because they are, uh, it's a 58 to 53 right now. They have less outposts than the carbon or than the green team, which is pretty crazy. And now the green team moving out, man, or at least before they were. That was sent out a while ago by ULA. And uh, th this is going to be, oh man, the carbon team moving out at the same time. The carbon team needs to stop and mass hold position these, or this is going to be bad news for them. However, they are sitting on a lot of credits, so they will be able to mount a defense. Okay, now Lethal Poison repositioning here we probably didn't get this oh he did get to set those on actual hole position but now repositioning by blast of where is ULA to support that probably doesn't need to support because they are using this large tank push as a distraction to take this close or that corner and now they will get almost full map control. However, Blastabiz just repositioning on his own is actually doing a pretty good job and has been able to drain the Carbon Team's health to less than a quarter at this point. ULA also doing uh, his own contributions. Could just start repositioning as well. The Carbon Team probably will be able to hold out here because they have a lot of defensive units here. They really just have this close outpost. That's really their only, that's pretty much their last hope at this point. Uh, however, they are dramatically outnumbering the green team in terms of uh, units 68 to 42. ULA saying just drop, trying to finish, but happy death and lose points will almost definitely start to wall up at this point you know with anything they can even generators if they need to spare the upkeep they are actually at their unit cap at 73 and they really really need to take this this close back so they can get a little bit more so they can build a few more units happy death already calling the gg oh man uh, last bets uh, getting spotted here by happy death creating a secret unit cluster over there ULA trying to neutralize this so the carbon team can't outproduce the uh, the green team and now Blast of Bits moving in with the Gemini. This is probably going to be it. This is a lot of tanks to defend against, and this is not enough of the defense by the Carbon team. There's not enough that's going to be able to be blocked here. I'm very, very, you know, very, very confident in that in that guess. Oh, Blast of Bits dropping on the ledge. Not fixed, guys. Not fixed, by the way. Um, this is actually not. This has not ended quite yet, but it is just a matter of, of a little bit of drops by the Carbon team, or the Green team, and that is it. Blast of Bits with two more Gemini. Oh my god, why did I say that is it? Okay, Blast of Bits firing in, and Happy Death Lethal the Poison able to hold out one more time. Blast of Bits dropping the LEL, but uh, not in all chat, just in team chat, so that's a little bit hilarious to see. You know, they can probably just go straight to the corner and fire in, but uh, who cares if this is just for fun custom game against fellow faction mates, and uh, he honestly could just push these tanks as well, and they could probably definitely get a finish here, as th it's really, really hard to wall up nowadays in, this, in the current, uh, you know, in the current game state. Um, and, and <laughs> Happy Death goes, I don't know how we're losing, but never mind. Who cares? Um, Happy Death not, oh, oh, trying to uh, occupy that ledge as much as possible so they can prevent the green team from, uh, from, from dropping on there to get a little bit of, of damage left. But honestly, they can just drop at this point. I don't know why ULA and Happy Death have not, or Happy ULA and Blast Abyss have not chosen to get, uh, to finish this off just by doing drops. They probably don't really care. This is a fun game. This is a fun custom game against Faction Mates once again. And uh, you know, you got to enjoy this game. You know, balance problems aside, weird kind of, you know, repetitive metas aside, you guys gotta love, the, gotta love having fun in Air Mech. And, and uh, now they are going for the corner instead of going for the finish. They will never lose this, uh, or at, at least they will never lose a p to a push here, as the Carbon Team is way, way over their unit cap. And they will lose this uh, this corner eventually. And ULA actually also doing work here. Um, oh, Happy Death just doing an all-in push. Okay, that is uh, hilarious. I mean, ULA seeing that and it's like, okay. He probably will push out himself as well. But he could probably just fire right at the corner or the front door and just with his mech and get the finish here. And that is going to be it. Happy Death moving out all of his units. But ULA easily able to get that finish. Probably came like two or three minutes too late. Honestly, but either way, ULA and Blast of Bits, the green team getting this win on Wrath over Happy Death and Lethal Poison, the carbon team. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was very, very interesting to see. I will now announce I have no idea what I'm putting this video up, so it'll probably be public information by now. But um, I will be having another Carbon Sponsored Tournament. It will be a 3v3 tournament, once again, presented by Grizzly Wing, uh, sponsored by Carbon Games. Uh, I'll be offering a lot of stuff. I'll try to remember to put the, the link in the video description right now to the information thread. 
Um, but yeah, guys, 3v3 tournament, form your team, sign up. Everyone gets a competitor's badge. There's prizes up to eighth place, meaning the top eight teams. Who, if you can get to the quarter fi quarterfinals, you will get a prize, um, and you will get a competitor's badge nonetheless. There will be a lot of uh, you know free stuff, <laughs> like the, the raffles slash giveaways. And uh, who knows what awesome other prizes we'll be able to uh, give away. Um, I am taking donations for in exchange for advertising. So if you want to put an advertising image up on the screen during my, m during my, uh, you know, my image slideshows or have me read out a verbal uh, advertisement like the radio, I'll definitely do that as well. If you want to advertise your faction, advertise an event, advertise anything to this very small Mech <laughs> population. But it, we are a close-knit community, and I'm hoping that uh, you know, everyone will get behind anything that Carbon supports, and honestly, anything that the players, any events or anything like that that you guys want to plan. So, if you have anything that you would like to do, uh, if you want to, you know, try your hand at casting air mech games, contact me. Um, but pr <laughs> my my main my main message right now is uh, sign up for that carbon sponsored three v three tournament, and uh, make sure to send in your replays. This is Ruy, and that is game. See you next time.